What's up, YouTube? Are y'all feeling this hair? Y'all feeling this hair color? It's red, y'all. My hair is red, y'all. So, I haven't, like, come on and just did a video where I was talking to y'all in a long time. And I need to do more videos like this. I've been vlogging like crazy. But y'all know my summer has gone. Has basically, like, come to an end. And I am back at work. How do y'all like this, though? Like, this is my color of choice until November. Because, you know, November is the birthday month. But I wanted to do something different, so I decided on this like red color, and it's like a brownish red. But outside, honey, it's red. Do y'all see this? All right. But um, so look, I have a bone to pick. The lighting is amazing outside right now so i just decided like you know what i'm gonna go ahead and use the lighting outside let me get this lighting right here popping get this lighting popping all right so um everybody has been coming on youtube creating these videos saying like that they're quitting youtube and i get it like let me tell y'all so I started you doing YouTube back in, I want to say like 2010, 2011, something like that. Cause I started with my channel where um, I was pregnant. I had my miscarriage and I deleted a lot of videos from that pregnancy because that was like really devastating for me. And then I got pregnant again and then I started that um started back vlogging or whatever y'all can go check that channel out that channel is tell y'all what it is let me tell y'all what it is what it is oh this soup okay so that channel is cat mama 12 um on youtube and that channel only has 46 videos but um i had you know quite a bit of subscribers on that channel or whatever but i stopped vlogging on that channel because i wanted to create something different i wanted to create something that was like more about me and i didn't want to so much just focus on being a mom but i think i am gonna go back to posting on that channel like adventures that me and my son have because i miss like really like documenting those moments but i also am a firm believer in sometimes you got to keep things to like yourself you know you got to keep some memories to yourself and just for you like I, so i don't vlog everything like if y'all think for a minute that i'm just sitting here and i'm vlogging everything y'all can look at my vlogs and y'all can tell that i just really don't vlog everything i don't like always having my camera with me i don't like always having everybody in my business <laughs> but um so yeah, I started that channel, yeah, 2012. I, really 2012 because that's when I started like really like putting the, um, putting a lot of videos up. And it's so funny because this channel was monetized or whatever, but then it's a smaller channel and it didn't have that many views. So I need to go get the views up on that channel so that I can make sure those videos are monetized and that I'm getting paid from the videos. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna be posting on Cat Mama 12. I'm um, posting on that channel. I don't know if it's a way if I could change the name, but Cat Mama 12 fits me because in 2012 was when I became a mom of my beautiful baby boy that I love so much and he's not here right now because I just got off work. So back to what I was saying now. I enjoy doing YouTube. I personally don't believe that smaller YouTubers get the credit that they deserve. I don't really like the way you the way youtube do does things because it's kind of messed up because what happens is if you're a bigger more popular channel you get more advertising and i get it they gotta make their money or whatever but it's kind of like y'all not even trying to spread the love like y'all really be up like on here trying to shut stuff down for the smaller youtubers and then it's tiring like I'm gonna be honest like you know I invest a lot of money into like equipment and different things like that for my channel and um basically I did that to invest in my channel expecting basically to make that money back like that's 
ultimately the goal to make the money back well let's just say that you do make the money back but with the way that things are going on YouTube, everybody is feeling like YouTube is just gonna get shut down because they just aren't giving enough love to the people that are really on here going ham, going hard. I feel like I go hard, you know what I'm saying? But then I have my days where I just be like, you know what, I'm not gonna post a video like today. I have a video that I had since last, last weekend. And I started editing it, but I just wasn't feeling it. And I was just like, you know what? I, I don't even want to do this today. Like, I don't want to post this. I don't want to even go through the notions of like having to get things together. But, but today, I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna post it today. So, um, I don't know, man. I just, I just don't know, guys. I just don't know. It's like, it's just so much going on in terms of this whole YouTube life and like I just want to give it a pause or freeze or whatever because it's a lot of shenanigans going on but um I just kind of feel like if you stick with something or whatever if you really love it because I don't do this for the money I do it because I actually love it and I actually love you know um vlogging and allowing people to like get a glimpse of my life I love it you know what I'm saying but I don't know you guys like I want my channel to be huge and it's getting there it is <laughs> but I just wanted to talk to you guys about some of the reasons why people quit YouTube you know what I'm saying and I think that along with the different changes that are going on on YouTube right now which are shenanigans and I don't think that they are fair I don't think that it's cool or anything like that but some of the reasons why people quit YouTube are one so the first thing is lack of motivation and I'm gonna tell y'all this this is like when people quit anything okay lack of motivation like if you're just not motivated to do it like I have my days where I'm just not motivated to record a video like I just don't want to do it sometimes sometimes I just want to chill I just want to relax like today I just want to watch some ratchet reality TV I'm not eating no more today because I've been fasting and I ate already and I kind of messed up because I ate some white rice and I don't eat white rice so my body is about to like be all messed up but I'm gonna drink some water but I ate vegetables with that they are white rice no meat because y'all know I'm about that vegan life but lack of motivation is a big time killer and I think that right now what YouTube is doing is they are doing things to get people like to a point to where they're just not motivated to put videos up anymore it's just so crazy because with these YouTube alg algorithms and stuff like that like if you get a lot of views on the video then they promote your video more I get it they want to make money I want to make some money too though YouTube you know what I'm saying so y'all need to learn how to spread the love because y'all are losing people left and flipping right left and right y'all losing people and that's just crazy that's not cool you know what I'm saying because there are some people that are really out here grinding trying to get in but you gotta stay motivated or whatever and that's why it's so important to like really do what you actually love um which is like if you have personality like show your personality like if that's what you have if you have personality show your personality um quitting youtube sometimes you just want to give up and you just pretty much want to quit but we're talking about the five reasons why youtube youtubers quit but just sometimes you just you just give up and you just like you know i'm not doing this no more i don't want to put the time i don't want to keep investing money buying equipment like for me um i have you know lighting i have like um camera stands i don't have microphones or anything like that but um you know i've thought about like investing in microphones and stuff like that and I don't know if I want to do it anymore you know I don't I don't me personally I don't know if I want to invest any money in YouTube because it's just like 
sometimes it's not worth it. Like if y'all look at my other videos or whatever, like some of my videos don't have that many views or whatever, but I do have a video that's popping, like really, really popping. And I'm about to film some more videos because I'm trying to figure out the science of YouTube. This is the thing, I'm gonna tell y'all this. With YouTube, let's just be real. Okay, let's be real and let's just think about the entertainment industry, period. Like in the entertainment industry, sex sells. Okay, that's just, it is what it is. Sex sells, that is what it is. So I have a video up, it's an, about me and my friend, we went and got our, our nipples pierced. And that video, the thumbnail. If your thumbnails are great and your thumbnails are catchy, you will do good, okay? Men. I look at my analytics and I'm gonna just be honest, like majority of the people who watch that video were men, okay? Men wanna see boobs. So do I vlog about stuff that are more appealing to men? Like I don't wanna be appealing to men, I wanna be appealing to women, women that are like me, my age, that need motivation, that are entrepreneurs, that work jobs, you know what I'm saying, that's out here having fun, getting it, getting a life, you know what I'm saying? Getting a groove back. Y'all, I'm playing with this because I'm trying to figure out how is it going? <laughs> how's it going? How's it going? How's it going to flow? But I want my viewership. I mean, my viewership is high in terms of like women or whatever. But when it comes to a video like that, like. I guess that is more appealing to men. So I'm interested to find out, like for anybody else who has put up a video about like wanna get their nipples pierced, have you looked at your analytics and have your your analytics basically just been like a lot of men watching the video? Because you know, I know on mine, you know, I even got a comment that was like, oh man, I was trying to see them boobs. Like, do you think I really was to come on my YouTube and, and show my boobs? Heck no. So yeah. All right, reason number three is sometimes people just don't have patience. Sometimes people don't have patience to allow themselves to like grow. Sometimes people don't have patience to like figure it out. Me personally, I have it figured out. Right now, I'm gonna tell y'all what YouTube is on and what my channel is not and what it's not gonna be. Right now, my channel is not about me and a spouse. It's not about me and a spouse. If I wanted my channel to pop though, I could make my channel about me and my spouse and it would be awesome. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get a whole bunch of views because it is the thing is, ain't no faking over here. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no faking. Like everything would be like legit, real, like us really vibing and you know, stuff like that. But I don't have that content for y'all right now. I don't have it. I just don't have it. I don't have it. Okay, so I don't have that content for y'all right now. So I'm not about to be on here doing no fake prank videos and stuff like that. Like, look, I appreciate the people like, let's just say like I am posh. Girl, I love the fact that you do prank videos when you want to do them. I think that people be wanting to push you to do some funny stuff or whatever. But you can't always do pranks. Like if you're doing pranks back to 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 back. I can't take you serious. Because at some point, your spouse has to know and understand that this is a prank. Like how do you just keep doing prank videos? And like, if you do a prank on me today, and then I do a prank on you tomorrow, and then you do a prank on me next week, I'm expecting the prank. Like I'm expecting it. So I just, I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to like the pranks and it's just, it's too much y'all. And then you gotta have patience. Really, you gotta have patience for your channel to grow. You gotta have patience when it comes to subscribers and you gotta be the life of the party in other people's comments because I'm telling you, that's how you really get subscribers or whatever. Like I think I've gotten subscribers by just building like, you know what I'm saying, relationships. And for the record, all you guys are my sisters. You know what I'm saying? All y'all my booze. All of y'all are my lovelies and my loyals. You know what I'm saying? So, haters. I don't have no haters on YouTube. I probably have people that troll my YouTube because you know what I'm saying? 
trolls, trolls, trolls exist, okay? They just do. Depending on what type of person you are, what you have going on in your life, trolls just exist. I don't have nobody coming in the comments like talking too crazy. Like I get a few racist comments every now and then, but it is what it is. That's the world that we're living in in 2017 today. Y'all be behind them keyboards typing some reckless stuff. And guess what? All I gotta do is go on and delete it. So it's like really stupid when people leave like dumb comments or whatever. I'll be tripping off of stuff like that. So I don't know. I just, I don't really care about stuff like that. So if you want to be a hater on my channel, you want to type something dumb in the comments, just go ahead because you wasting your tappity tip tip tap taps and I'm going to delete it. Last but not least is the YouTube money. So look. First, you got to be able to monetize. So, you know, YouTube changed it to where you got to have 10,000 lifetime views in order to start getting paid. Then it's just it's just been more and more drama as time goes on with them, like paying you. You know, I've heard some people like go on their videos and their videos are like automatically um, demonetized um, and stuff like that. But you got to get a whole lot of views or whatever to get the YouTube money through Google AdSense. Um, the other side of the game is sponsorships. So you can get sponsors and you can get people where you like shine out their channels and different things like that. You know, some people, um, you know, do that. Some people do other things. Some people have other business. So look, this is my advice to you. My advice is merch. Become big. Come up with something. Come up with something that is clever and sell it. That's my advice to you. So y'all, I think this is it for now. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. I need to get myself together so that I can film. I have like two other videos that I wanna film. So I'm going to go ahead and holler at y'all later. But those are some of the reasons why I've been thinking about like quitting YouTube. But let me know below what y'all thinking about all the changes and the drama that's going on. And I just wanted to come on and share my piece about YouTube and the craziness that's going on and possibly quitting. Will I quit? Will I stay? Will I go? I have no idea. But y'all stay tuned and find out. If I post another video, then y'all know she didn't quit. If I don't post another video, maybe I'm taking a break, a vacation, or maybe I quit. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace. This is what happens when you think your baby in the room sleep and he not. And all you can do is to, is to laugh. Why you do this? Why you do this? What's going on?